Hello everybody and welcome back to the General Game Store Championship. Uh, we're about to get the top four underway. Uh, I'm Darby Mailing and with me is... Uh, Johnny Cantlish. Uh, Johnny was playing today. Johnny, why don't you quickly tell everybody how you went? Um, fifth place again. Yeah. Missed out on the cut by eight MV. Yep. Uh, we did see you on the stream earlier. Yep. Uh, you got a win on the stream. Uh, what, tell people quickly what you were playing and why you sort of went with those changes. So, we had a bit of a question. Yeah, we... Um, I, I fly for Panther Squadron here, and we've been crunching the numbers a little bit recently with Wave 11. Um, we've come up with the Triple Skurgs. Well, we, yeah, we yep. can say that we've come up with yep. Triple Skurgs. Um, so it's uh, two Lock Revenants and Nim. Uh, they all have adaptability. They've all got Auto Blaster turrets. Uh, they've all got cruise missiles and long-range scanners. And then Nim's pretty much loaded up with all the free stuff. So Havoc, Genius, yep. uh, Collision Detector. Yeah, and, and do you think that's... Because we had a question... Um, uh, ben Caller from the Carolina Crates said Deadeye and Chips yep. just seems like the better option on the Lock Revenants. Yeah, shout out to the Crates. Love the podcast. Um, yeah, no, they. it is It is much in a muchness where if we if you're seeing... Um, if you're seeing a lot of just generic lists out there and using dead eye and chips, it's amazing. But I knew that there was at least one other person that was going to be running triple Skurgs with adaptability at this um, at this tournament. So I knew it'd have to be have to I'd have to take adaptability on it. Um, another squad mate who um, is in the top four, Nick Henley. Uh, but I think I'm not great at maths. But when I've when I've sat down and looked at it. It's much in a muchness. You're you're getting you're guaranteeing that target lock, and if you can come in with a you know a four or three speed maneuver with the cruise missiles, um, you're getting four or five dice, and you've got the target lock and focus that yep. turn. And another thing, the adaptability takes you up to four, which matches a lot of those four ship rebel. Yeah, builds. it's it is huge, like Captain Rex especially. Yeah, and even playing against things like ghosts and whatnot, um, you know the Lothal Lothal rebel, uh, just being able to see where they are and barrel roll out of arcs or barrel roll into auto blast turret range. It makes a big difference. Um, and even with the bump masters, so the bump master is going to screw you up either way, but if you come against any ordnance, um, contracted scouts and things like that, you, yep. you can, you can essentially, so by all rights, you should PS kill something at uh, PS three. Yeah, for sure. Um, so in the top four, we have, uh, here we go on the screen. Uh, we have Damien who finished five and oh, with an absolutely incredible MOV of roughly 840. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Um, he's running Han Solo with Expertise, C-3PO, Gunner, the Millennium Falcon title, which will be the old one, an engine upgrade. And then he has Captain Nim, a very slim Captain Nim, with just Adaptability, Auto Blaster Turret, Sabine Wren, and Bomblet Generator. Uh, pretty slim Captain Nim from what we've seen majority of times. Yeah. Uh, then we have Harry Leach, who is a squad mate of yours. Yeah, Harry's one of the Banthers flying out of Gatekeeper Games in Fitzroy, here in here in here in Victoria. Um, and he's running Rear Admiral Shirino with Predator, Kylo Ren, Gunner, Dauntless, and Engine Upgrade. And then Quick Draw with Expertise, Fire Control System, Special Ops Training Title, and Lightweight Frame. Oh, I, uh, I, you gotta love Quick Draw. I think Quick he's draw probably is really really cool. He's probably one of the best ships in the Imperial in the Imperial list at the moment, if not the best. Yeah. yeah. And um, combine that with Rack as well, and he's just a beast. Yeah, Kylo Ren's going to be a real problem for Han this game. Yeah. You would think. Yeah. Um, wait, he will be. Um, in the other top four match, we have Nick Henley, who's running the Triple Skurgs, which Johnny just talked about. Uh, and we also have Michael Adams, who is running Dash Miranda, that we saw on stream yeah, as he, well. He was my biggest loss today, so it will be hard for Nick to win that game. Um, I did actually lose a hundred zip to the Dash Miranda. Yeah, Dash is just really good though. Yeah. Um, and if you can kite with Miranda well, um, it's always going to be a tough sort of thing. Yeah, it was. It was a. It was a pretty. Uh, pretty intense match. So it looks like they're just going to joust sort of straight up a little bit, which it, I think it favors Rack and Quick Draw especially. Um. I think he has to like so. Rack's at PS eight, so Han's going to get the Han's going to get the shot off here, but I think he just has the to. Next couple of turns, yeah. he's going to be in a bit of trouble. I think he just has to rack in like blind, uh, not blind a pilot, um, damage cockpit. I think you blind a pilot. Yeah, yeah. If you blind a pilot, like Han's going to attack this turn. Yep. Then he's not going to attack again for at least two turns. Yeah. Uh, and by that stage, you're getting quick draw, and Shirano, who are two of the fastest dealing damage ships in the game. Yeah. Yeah, I think if they went to town on Han, they could really, really put the hurt on him and hopefully scare him away. Um, 
But it also, if they turn on to Nim, the Skurg is amazing, but it still is only yeah. rolling one green. I think if they do turn on to um, Nim straight away, quick draw or like a full quick draw or maybe a half health Sherino is going to struggle against Han. Yeah. yeah like Han's, sure. Han's the, like they're both really good in the late game, but I think Han's better. Um, 13 health, C3PO, that engine upgrade um, is pretty, like it's been proven to just be incredible. Yeah. Um, and fly casual raw. Yeah. Quick draw on Sherino. It's like Kylo Ren's one of the most broken cards in the game. Uh, at, Against two ship builds, Kylo Ren completely nude as one ship. Uh, and quick draw since lightweight frame really yep. has been the best high pilot skill Imperial ship. I think that's arguably. the ca- I think that's the card that he needed. Um and I've seen him flown on I've flown him myself with um sensor cluster as well. Because you just want to eke out that like one shield a turn, yeah. like one shield a shot and really punish opponents. Um and listening like I know that you listen to podcasts out there. I listen to podcasts. There's some really good chat. There's some really good information coming out of that. Just discussing um, what what stuff essentially in the game is almost too OP. Yeah. And like Kylo is one of those cards. Kylo Ren is definitely yeah. one of those things. Um, you, you just completely make a, you make a ship useless. Yeah. Uh, whether that's just not letting them shoot or making a high pilot skill ship really low, like pilot skill zero. Um, like they're the two you more often than not going to give, um, and it looks like he might be trying to go for a bump maybe on Nim, but I doubt Nim's gone too. Yeah, you think Nim would just fast. just one straight here? It also gives him a better option to get out next turn. Right, he's going to Kylo onto. Interesting to see whether he does pick damage cockpit. You, you're probably right. Like damage cockpit this turn. Kylo and Nim. Um, Kylo and Nim seems. Okay. And he's chosen blinded pilot. So it looks like he's going to try and get Nim, Nim just dead straight away. Seems strange to me, a little bit. Yeah, because uh, he's going to feel the hurt on Rack here, and he doesn't want a horrible crit coming back at him like a blinded pilot and just cut yeah. his firepower in half. Um, I, I think I would have gone Han. Um, but like he's pointing all his guns where Nim is going to be. I suppose those bomblets, they're going to be a problem. We've seen them in now five of the six games we've had on stream. Bomblets have been on the on the stream. I think that just shows how good they are. Yeah, 100%. Um, I think it's like a really great upgrade. And, you know, there is the opportunity cost of having two bomb slots, but that's not hard to find. Yeah, the sh- yeah like the ships you're going to be taking bomblets on have that readily available anyway. Yeah. Because um, Miranda's going to have three because of Sabine. And then Nim, he's better with her to reveal bombs anyway. Yeah. Um, and I, I like this positioning by Han. He's going to have a free shot on Quick Draw if he wants to take it. Or a shot on Rack. He's probably going to shoot Rack, I'd think. Yeah, he's either he's either going to pump Rack this turn or he's just going to have to try and strip all the shields off Quick Draw. And th- essentially, once you've done that, like Quick Draw is... He's a, he's a good ship. The PS9 Special yeah, Force. Yeah, generic, exactly. Yeah. Um, a one forward from Nim. So he'll get a primary shot off before he becomes blinded and probably doesn't shoot for the rest of the game. Um, but Nim's fine not shooting. He can drop those bombs every turn anyway. So it seems it seems odd. Uh, and I think uh, is Nim's, uh, Nim's adaptability up to nine, obviously, yeah. as well. And interesting with the barrel roll here. I do find with the Skurg, there's a... You can do a lot more repositioning. You you do like having that focus for your attack, but also it's, if you're if you're not spending your focus on attack for whatever reason, you you roll natty natty crits. Yep. Um. The 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 focus on the one green dice doesn't. Yeah, it's, it's really not really going to do a lot too much. Uh, we have quick draw shooting here. Range three into Nim. Uh, your expertise for three hits seems good. Nim takes. Uh, and he'll take two. Two. That's pretty good. Rack will probably clear those shields or do two shields in a crit this turn. So Yeah, and he's kind of daring uh, Han now to shoot yeah, quick draw as now well. Yeah, Han probably can't shoot quick draw. Um, yeah, you don't, you don't want to get too deep into hull this turn at least. Is that a range two? 
range two from Nim into right one modified, here. so maybe two damage. Uh, looks like just one hit. Yeah, just one hit into Rack. That's not the best start. The Han will probably take the maybe range one. The Han sh three or four damage from Han. Another just like two damage. Two damage. A bit lackluster there from Damien's side. Yeah, that's it, it's average. It's average yeah, dice. Like it's average. And he he did, he, you know, he didn't give himself any modifications that turn. Well, he had ex expertise on Han. So. And no no rerolling ability yeah. apart from. He's just gunnering. Got the critty needs. Credit to that. Hit crit. So shield, and I imagine he just deals him blinded. So Nim's out of the next turn. He can still do damage with his bombs. Yeah, he should he should survive one more turn if Quickshot doesn't get to double tap. Yep. Yeah, I've I've played games where I've been flying quick draw and my opponents have just um they just turn around to me and say, I'm not even gonna attack yeah. him. Like unless he's the last ship on the board, like I'm just gonna ignore it. Or you just him. you just get that like the good engagement where you're going to strip all yep. shields. Yeah, if you've if you if they if you've messed up and put quick draw with, without an arc, and essentially you're able to come in on his flank and just smash him, you've got to take that opportunity because, yeah. like you said, it just makes him like a, a PS9 special force forces tie. So, what do you expect them to do next turn? I um, I think Rack will probably do like a three bank. Yep. Just to bring himself, give him some space in the center of yeah, the board. Yeah, he, he doesn't want to bump Nim, right? It's because it looks like Harry just wants to kill Nim. Yeah, get Nim out of the way, and then deal with Han with the majority of rack left and a full quick draw. Yeah. Um. And I reckon, like, even if you were to one forward with rack, you, you, yeah, you would get, you'd bump Nim, and you wouldn't get to shoot him. But you're clearing good space behind rack where quick draw can move into. Yeah. Sure. And again, it's another threat. Like Han will probably loop around the back here. Um, he's behind them now. Quick draw can potentially shoot out the front and the rear. But I probably, I imagine he'll just go all in on Nim. He'll probably just yeah. Well, with Nim, where like Nim with two sh two shields left and four hull, like yep. you can take him out this turn. You can take him out. Yeah. Um, a range one shot, a range two shot. Um, and then Han, ugh. yeah, it's rough. Yeah, and I think the I do I like I like Nim Rebel Nim, but I think um, Scum Nim is actually the better Nim. I think Rebel Nim is a better Nim. Yeah, I think you've just got to invest more points into Rebel Nim. Yeah, for sure. I think he's got to be like forty-five points. Yeah, and I was playing Nim with my two Skirks today, and he was a really skinny Nim. Yeah, um, and I rarely use the bomblet generator, um, but when I did, um, it was really beneficial. Yeah. Yeah, I really like Rebel Nim being able to close off lanes or just areas of the board. So I'm a, I actually don't play uh, Bomb the Generator on my Nim. Yep. I more go for a, maybe an Ion Bomb and a Cluster Mine. Yep. I much prefer that just because... The control and the yeah, threat. Yeah, you can put yeah. something in a board and go, you can't go there. You're going to yep. be taking damage and an Ion's going to happen yep. or and Distress is going to happen. Um, and not every turn you're going to be spitting out bombs with, no. with Nim. Um, I'd much prefer it on Miranda, whereas Miranda can three bank three slam and she's got a bomb sitting behind her at the same time. Yep. Um, yeah. That, and that's essentially some of my thinking when it comes to, um, when it comes to the triple Skurgs as well, why the Skurg is such a good ship is because the area control it can create with its auto blaster turret and bomblet generator or alpha strike as well. It's, it's such a, I think it's the best knife fighter since the B wing. And, yeah, I, and I, I think it's better than the B wing. Yeah, it's at doing it's much it. better. Like that turret's incredible. Um, just, it's just so much better. Yeah, my my kind of uh, strategy today was just cluster up the middle of the board with um with debris uh, and asteroids, and then just get my skurgs in there. Yep. So you have rack blinded piloting, uh, Nim again. So Nim's not going to shoot this turn, most likely. Uh, yeah. So he's not going to shoot this turn because he's already blind. Oh, he's not going to shoot again. He's not going to shoot this turn because he's already blinded from... Yes. And then he won't shoot the following turn yeah. as well. And probably by that stage, he's dead. 
Oh. Most likely. So he's going to get a bump on Quick Draw, which isn't a bad thing. It's actually, if Han's ever going to attack Quick Draw, it's going to be now. Yep. So, unfortunately, you're probably not going to take off all, all shields. Though. No. Um, Unless he just comes in and, and fo keeps close and focuses up. He's going to use XP. It's, it's a hard... It's, a, it's looking at Damien's list. It's really hard to figure out who you'd go for first. And I think... You, you don't want to take Han to the end game because he's just he's going to tank everything to C three PO as well. Um, yeah, especially now that he's already used up the blinded pilots. Yeah, for like sure. Han just win, even if Han's pilots kill zero, Han wins the damage race. So quick draw, just two out the back into Han. Probably just C three PO to zero, take nothing because of the evade, and he gets a target lock on him. So we'll see. Spent the evade as well to evade. All that damage coming in from quick draw. Now we'll see. I imagine Han goes for Rack here. I think Damien's debating it. Yeah, it's it's difficult because it's range three. I know, I know it's like still only gets one dice, but yeah, it's definitely range three. So range three into Rack. Ugh. Filthy. The Han, Han it again. Oh, that's not what you want. Go Gunner. <laughs> There we go, there's something better. expertise for three. Rack for nothing. So Rack's into hole now. Yeah. And Rack can go down so quickly. It can happen really, really quickly. Um, we got Rack, put him range one into Nim. But Nim at least, like at least next turn, he'll have a good chance to get yep. one bomblet off. Uh, fortunately, he'll die probably before the combat because of Quick Draw's ability. Yeah, there's nothing that... Um... There's nothing that quick draw, quick draw can really do to get away from that as well. So it's two crits. There's the shield and the blinded. Shield and blinded. So yeah, this turn like Nim's got to drop that bomb and yeah, cause but, you haven't you haven't got really anything out of Nim so far this yeah, entire game. Yeah, and, and where's quick draw going? Is he going up towards the board to head towards the bomb that hasn't exploded yet, uh, or is he coming into the center of the board? Either way, he's going to get caught by by that blast, and he's not going to have a great shot on on Han. Yeah, and he, he hasn't got pattern analyzer. No, so you're probably not going to sloop this turn. No, um, might just he might just go. Oh, I'm just going to eat this bomb. Hopefully, I take no more than two shields. Yep, and just shoot at him before anything happens. Yeah, I suppose he's got a chance that he's just going to lose all of his shields even now. So he rolled yeah. two hits on the bomb and Sabine. So that's all of his gone. He gets his one return fire. But then that threat's dealt with for Damien. Um, Han being full here is a real problem. Yeah, Rack's going to start dropping really quick. Like I assume, I, I, I think Han will just three bank around that rock. Probably boost, depending on where Rack goes. Keep it at range two, or range one maybe. Yep. Um is this, is this the turn that um, Harry has to has to Kylo Kylo Rack uh, Kylo Han to get him down to PS zero? PS zero, yeah. E even then, right? Han's still not bad. <laughs> like Han being part of Hill Nines in this matchup's pretty much irrelevant. Yep. Um, he's still going to be C three pilling Millennium Falcon to do. He was dodge two damage a turn from Rack, and be most likely putting three damage back in every time. Yep. Uh, yeah, especially with that um, Han, Han ability and the gunner and expertise. Yeah, I was talking to uh, Damien before, and he actually says he prefers the Lone Wolf Luke variant. Yeah. Still over the expertise and gunner, which I, I, I like more as well. Uh, like, ideally, you take Predator and Luke. I, th I think that's, that's by far the best. Yeah, when I first saw Predator come out and the, the cost... Four points for that upgrade. For expertise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Sorry. Expertise. When I when it came out, four points for expertise. It's pretty steep, but it is. It's, it's good. Massive. Yeah. There's nothing quite as satisfying as just you know essentially you're picking up a fistful of fistful of dice and you're almost guaranteeing hits yeah. out of it every turn. And like especially on something like Dengar, where it doesn't matter if you block him, it doesn't matter. He's got a tiger lock and he's got that focus on offense. It, you can't do anything about it. My 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 favorite classic first use of expertise. Which was really bad, but really great. Yep. Was Horton. Horton yeah. with a TLT. Horton with TLT. And expertise. Basically, you're guaranteed three hits from both the TLTs. Yeah. And like, unfortunately, you've got a 40 point Horton. Yeah. It just dies. Yep. 
but like it's a really, really, really cool idea. I did have him in an early version of Fairship Rare also um, with Rex and Rock and Thane as well. Thane. Yeah. Um, it was good fun, but I think, yeah, Horton, unfortunately, is just too expensive. Just, he's just not the ship that, that he could be. Who knows? Who knows what they're going to release one day? Yeah, the, the, those named white wings are a little bit the rebel ones. Like Cavill sees a little bit of play. Yep. Um. Well, Cavill's got native EPT, EPT as well, so like yeah. Cavill with expertise in TLT is a bit of a beast too. So I'm not sure why he barrel rolled here because he's he's going to get that bomb. He's here. not going to get out of the bomb. I would have preferred to take the focus just to try and negate some of the long range fire from Han that he's going to receive now because I don't think Han, unless he boosts around, he's not going to have a shot on Rack. Looks uh, just out. And I, th I think you're fine staying there against Quick Draw. Yep. Uh, you evade, you completely ignore one of his shots that he's going to shoot. Yeah. I do think that's like a weak point of um, Quick Draw as well, is that it, he's su he, he deals such damage, but at the same time, when he's flying away from the opponent... He's nowhere near as strong. He's just not doing... He's, it's two dice, really. Yeah. Like, and because you're always flying away, it's rare that you'll get that range one shot. And this is smart by Damien here to drop the bomb and then go as fast as he can away. Yeah. We'll probably barrel roll out. Yeah. Maybe as well. Get even more range. Keep, keep Nim alive. And Mar Marzom's backdraft is really cool. And I think backdraft overall is a more consistent and better pilot. But quick draw can change a game that backdraft can't. Yeah, 100%. Um, and quick draw can ruin somebody's day in just one turn. Wow. Quick draw just took hit and a crit. And will Sabine for a third. So that's... All his shields gone. All that's, of them gone. That's basically perfect. Like, he couldn't have expected a better better result out of that. Um, and, like, he's going to take an irrelevant shot at hard for this. Yeah. Gets two hits. C-3PO for zero. Spend the evade. You know, maybe he gets greedy and C-3PO's for one. He's not using it. Fair. Not using C-3PO. Still dodges it. <laughs> but just comes up with what he needs. So quick uh, draw. Now quick draw. now quick draw attacks. Guess it's zero. Two. Rolls two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be a yeah. massive uphill struggle for Harry here. That's, that's, real, that's really bad. Um, now, like, quick draws on Hull. It's got no focus. Han Han can kill it. Not yeah. gonna, more than likely, but can. He's gonna Han that. that. Three hits. So he's threatening the kill. Oh, oh wow. Oh my god, he's dead. And, and that's why it's too many dice anyway, he's rolling. <laughs> and that's uh, so... even even with the extra dice. Yeah. See that's uh, that's why I would have taken not taken the barrel roll, you're taking the you're taking the bomb regardless. Yeah. You can't get away from it. Take a focus. Because sometimes that does help you on defense. You don't need it for your, your expertise offense. But yeah. defense is, is where you can eke out one shield a turn on quick draw. It makes a massive difference. This is Damien's game to lose here now. He can't lose this game. I just don't see it happening. Like Kylo. A full Han versus a not full Shirinu. Yeah. And there's that bomb up at the top of yeah, the table there. So he, he's basically pushing Rack down down the board now and Han's just going to swoop in. Um, I don't even think you have to rush it here. I think you could like slow roll with Han and just bring Nim around yeah. just to make sure you've got both of them on Rack in the same turn. I would have been booking it if it was me. I would have got out of there. With Shirino? Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, you're going to get shot anyway, right? Yeah. I suppose the only way is if Han has come in quickly here, he might get a one-on-one -on -one with him. Because that blinded pilot, uh, not blinded pilot, damage cockpit is still on the table. Yeah, I think, like, Han, I mean, Han doesn't care about that damage cockpit. It's no. It's not going to affect him at all. Like, if Shirinu can shoot Han, Han can shoot Shirinu. It's yep. fine. Um, I suppose the only way it matters is, and you the know... Bad, the the worst crit's gone. Yeah. That blinded yeah. pilot's gone. Doesn't matter if you take damage engine now. Doesn't matter if you take loose stabilizer. Or direct hits. Like, it's it's a damage race, and Han wins the damage race with C-3PO, and that native one, like, 
dice anyway. The best you could hope for would be um, a loose stabilizer, stress, switch off expertise for a turn. Do a one bank. Yeah. Like, yeah, thrust control fire. Thrust like, control fire, that's it. Um, yeah, it's just, I'm not sure. Uh, and fly casual raw, like, you're right, and we've seen it just there, how like quick draw's ability can be nothing sometimes. But there are those times where literally quick draw changes the game by people going, I'm not going to shoot this turn because then I'm getting a range one shot back. Or um, those bombs, like that bomb there, if, if Nim's in a worse position, yeah. that changes again. Yeah, if, if, if Harry just rolls blanks and he, he's he got a debate, he's like, has he got one opportunity to use Sabine this turn? Is he going to use Sabine? Yeah. Probably not. But I, I think that's where you'd just be like, if, if Quickdraw had a shot on Nim, he'd just be like, I'm not going to Sabine. Sure. Like he's, yeah, it, what, as we've said, once Shields are gone, he's only a PS9, but he's still a PS9. They're still going to hit you relatively hard. Um, like ideally, you don't lose all Shields in one engagement. I think Harry made a mistake by barrel rolling there and just not eating the Shield. Um, maybe a little bit unlucky rolling two hits. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't happen all the time. Like easily, that could have just been two blanks, right? Yeah, right. like av- average, he was taking two. He was taking two shields there. Yeah, um, and then he gets his shot, and then Han probably fires on him to strip the last shield. Um, but he- Quickdraw's still on the table, so this turn Quickdraw would still be menacing. So even if that, you know, you got one hole left on Quickdraw, do you just you know go stuff it? I'll just do a a, a sloop and at least yeah. put my guns back where where they're coming. But I think that's kind of um. Rack just can't, won't be able to deal with this now. And I like how Damien's brought the two ships together again. He did yeah. move slowly with Han. He's brought Nim back into the fight. A bit of a bump there, but yeah, I think this is this turn is going to be significant damage on Rack. And depending on what crits come through, it could just be really nasty. Yeah, it's so. How do you see like? How do you call Damien's list here? Like, has he made a good choice? I, I know people talk about the meta and whatnot. And it's funny because you and, I, you and I have joked about the Melbourne meta and how we turn up to these various tournaments expecting to see X, Y, and Z. And we're just seeing kind of yeah. the weirdest, like... So anything, people that want to play something, they'll yeah. be like, yeah, I'll, I'll play Han. Yeah, or I'll like... Play- I'll play Nero Dantles. With yeah, I really tops. like Saber Squadron Interceptors. Yeah. So I'm going to take two of them with no upgrades on yeah. them. It's and so we just got told that Damien actually built this list last night and and has played it twice. I wonder if he played it in person or just on Vassal. Yeah, I I think he played against yeah in another person. player that was playing today, um Steve Tuck. Um, so it's a good call. Like I think the Skurg is a good ship. Oh, it's it's amazing. That's deadly by Han as well. You've got to spend it just to stop. You can't have that many upgrades slots on a ship and not be good. <laughs> yeah, and the dial's not horrific either. The th- it is the three talent is frustrating on some level, but um, not having just like a straight a straight four k yeah. uh, or three k. But it it does make your opponent think, and it it does help in situations like this where you need to turn around, um, and you can actually put some. Uh, horizontal movement in as well yep. so you escape things like bombs you can get out of arcs so Han so he takes one shield there so probably just C3 period for zero or yep. maybe even one I think there was only two hits there yeah I, just one shield in that exchange of fire Rack has got Rack took two to Han's one Rack's just gonna get eaten alive this next turn maybe if a three tight fits there Three hard around the rock. Too hard on no balls. Forward. Too hard on no balls. Yeah, Nathan Wilcox. Yeah, the tight binder does has a lot of upgrade slots, but it, yeah, you're right. It is still garbage. <laughs> um, and Ali, yeah, sure. You know, three two today by Ali. That's not bad. I played him you today. You played him. He did play. I I think he bought three of the wrong ship this wave. Sorry, Ali, but you bought three aggressors and I bought three skurgs, and I think I got the better the better deal there. Yeah, for sure. But it was three TLT uh, aggressors with no lightweight frame and the Inquisitor. Which is a really cool list. It's really good. And the Inquisitor is still a beast. 
but I was just able to to alpha one of the one of the aggressors away yeah. and just get in a knife fight with auto blaster turrets. So, so Harry's going to try and do a little bit of an, an arc dodging type thing with. He's just doing anything he maybe, can, but just anything he can to try and maybe buy a bit try of space. and kill Nim. To, but dropping a bomblet for next turn seems good. So one of these two bombs will go off. I imagine the one in the top yeah, corner, one that he dropped initially there. Um, just flipping the one forward. Seems. Yeah, here comes Nim. Just maybe barrel roll in. You're not going to lose Nim this turn. It would, well, you could, but. It's unlikely. Can he barrel roll to get Ark? Just keep the pressure on Rack. That, that rock's maybe in the way to be able to get far enough back. Yeah, maybe a bit close. He's going to try it. Though. Yeah, it looks good. The Skurg is like a big ship as well. It's yes. it's fiddly trying to maneuver it around the table. Looks pretty good. Range one. Um, we might try to get an update on the uh, the top four if we can get like a score. Yeah, uh, just to see not, what's like, happening in the other an game. Update and what's still alive and things. And he's gonna attempt to boost. I don't. Everything's still alive in the other top four game, which is uh, Triple Skurgs versus Miranda Dash, as we said. Yeah, that Dash is giving me nightmares. Yeah, Dash is good. Dash is fantastic. Dash is amazing if you're not playing against people that are really good Aces players. And even then, like, he's fine. Yeah, and you, you, and you weren't playing today, Dub, so there was no yeah. good Aces players out there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, like... Dash may struggle against aces, but Miranda eats aces for breakfast. It's like not even a contest. So he's um, just going to harm that initial roll? It, oh, he rolled too many dice. Yeah. That's why. Uh, yeah. Sure. Get greedy. Why not? Get the crit. Yeah. Seems good. Nothing for Rack. So what's the crit going to be? If it's blinded pilot, like Carrie's just going to have it. Have it said. Uh, See him. Still Direct good. hit. Um, yeah, like I, I've said before, um, not to, not today, but I think if the jump master wasn't a thing, yep. Miranda Dash would be by far the best list in the game. Yeah, for sure. And <laughs> Red, uh, predators. Yeah. So it could be a dead Nim. And yeah, it is. It is. Nim's dead. Nice. I think Rack being on three hole, it's still game over. Uh, it's, still, it's game over, for sure. But... Damien Keel's over or something like that. Yeah, Han flies off the board. Harry bites his hand. Just roll, I don't know. Like, rolls <laughs> blanks for the rest of the game. Yeah, just goes for that 4K. So I think, Milky, you're right. I do want to run the type Punisher as well. I think the model uh, looks I think sick. It's I think it looks amazing. It's like, it, it's, a, <laughs> it's... It's a... Like, the type Bomber doesn't look good. And the Tide Punisher is just a bigger Tide Bomber. The Tide Bomber's got a bit of a bit of my heart because it's in the movies. And the Punisher, oh, it just is so meaty. No. And I saw someone that had put posted up, what, lightweight frame, unguided rockets. Yeah, it was like the sleeper of the wave yeah, or this, something. Yeah, it's, it's like, no. It's not. And that was um Hell of a Pilot podcast. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, Yeah, shout out to the Hell of a Pilot guys. They're, they're quite funny. I do like listening to them. Um, and they do like taking a kind of much more casual approach yeah, to the game. Definitely. So they're in it for fun. And so this is the kind of stuff that they come up with. And when I do see it, I'm like, yeah, that, I can see how that would be good fun to fly. I've only ever played a few games with the Punisher and it was Death Rain. And I do remember <laughs> pushing a Conan out the front of my guides and yeah. killing Whisper. I was quite happy with that. <sighs> First turn, drop a Conan out. Do the damage. Next turn, drop another con net, do the damage, and finishing off with the primary. How are you getting the second con net drop? It's got extra munitions. Yeah, but... Oh, because I know where, I know where they're going to go. not going to be there. Well, Whisper was already... Uh, I think already stressed that turn. Uh, well, Damien wins. Fantastic. Good work, Damien. So Just Damien has gone 6 hours so far. He's going to be tough to beat. Yeah, either matchup's not too bad for him with that engine upgrade on Hong. Yeah. Yeah, I think... That's all black. 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 That's all black.
Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Olaf. Punisher is cute, but it doesn't make it good. Yeah, so, that was... Uh, that was an, I, uh, do you think he was right in going after Captain Nim first? Well, the result says no. I think he would have been much better going after Han. If he if he if he traded Han for quick draw, I think we'd have a much different game. Cause you, well, yeah, yeah, you, for you, sure. And I, I, I think Han. Uh, I think Shirinu wins that. Okay. Um, but I, uh, it'd be good to see Damien playing. Um, I thought this is fine. I, I would yeah. probably. He'd probably I think the worst this. matchup for him is the Skurgs. You think so? Yeah. I think I think Han's maneuverable, but he's not quite dash maneuverable. So yeah, I could imagine like if the Skurgs get the, the barrel jump, is better at the range, the, the range. Yeah, yeah, um, for sure. Whereas the boost is better at arc dodging, sort of thing. Yeah, and I I, I could see it if the triple Skurgs get their cruise missiles in on Han, that's game over. Yeah, I think for sure. then they'll take Nim because it's Nim versus Nim, and uh, and dash hits harder. Yeah. He hits harder from a further distance. Yeah, Dash could like put a lot of hurt into either um either Han or Nim there. Yeah, for sure. So it'd be interesting to see who wins that game. Um Any what about some thoughts on you, Johnny, from like Wave Eleven in general, not the Skurgs, we've heard your thoughts on the Skurgs, but other yeah. things like what about the Oz attack and what about the Ty Aggressor? Do you see it any place at the moment where it's good? Um I just the the aggressor's okay, but I just find it got nuked way too quickly. It's yeah. almost like you have to run lightweight frame. If you don't have that, you're basically yeah. flying a really fragile ship. One shield is not really yeah. having any shields. And as soon as like you're getting hits pushed through to its hull and all it's got is its TLT uh, yeah. for offense. I don't, I just didn't see, I wasn't impressed. I looked at the dial. It wasn't anything spectacular. I mean, I mean the dial's fine. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it, wasn't it doesn't bad. make a difference to the ship. It, it, it made yeah. it, it. It was an open dial, and it kind of lets you do what you do. But I think the chassis lets it down. Um, in regards to the Azatak, the only experience I've seen, I haven't played against it yet. I have seen Paul Heaver use it against Ron Brennan to great effect. Yeah, where Ray would get like five hits. <laughs> yeah, it all be cancelled down, and Biggs would take one, Jess and, would take one, and then Larrick would take one. And- exactly. And I looked at that all, and I think that's not just the Aztec on itself. I think that's a combination putting it in a really good list, which is yeah. Fair Ship Rebels, and just stubbing out that the arc. Do you or, see that being better than the stress control, or do you think that's matchup dependent? It's matchup dependent. I think it has less damage output. I think the stress control makes a massive difference. I think Braylon in or Braylon or Thane in certain circumstances, once you get that stress on them, yeah, I've seen you. I've seen you take apart a list. Just because you yeah. had that stress control. Yeah, well, you get like two stress on a ship yeah. and it's just game over. Having that patience to be able to play the long game though and not panic as your ships are getting just like really beat up around you yeah. makes a big difference. Whereas I think the Oz attack brings in, uh, it, it keeps your heart rate down. Like you take huge attacks coming in and you just roll out of it with like taking a shield or two. Yeah, for sure. Like Biggs lives turn after turn, like the selflessness, like being, being able to move it onto yeah. Jess. I think that was pretty amazing use of it. But I think... We haven't seen the niche for the Oz attack yet. I really like Wolfara. His ability is yeah. really cool. Um, like you have to put him in a bigs list though. Yeah. Um, like so many of those one one agility. I think we won't see him. Pair. I don't think we will see the Oz attack with too much other than um, other than bigs. But I think the third slash fourth, third and fourth ships are variable, and yeah. I think they can. Well, change. I think Rex. Yeah, he's one of those. I think yeah. you've got one ship to sort of muck around with. Yeah, you wouldn't take out um, Jess and Rex and try and put like a, you know, put in a, put in a Poe. Oh, where... yeah. Like, I like that. Idea. Yeah. Um, it's worse. Yeah. It's straight up just worse. Like, you get a better finisher. Yep. But it, it is worse. And you've got that kind of, you, you've got that, you know, keep them close at the beginning, spread them out at the end. Yeah. And, and Poe can go and do his thing and come back. Yeah. Like, it's, it's not bad, but yep. I just think having that stress control... And having that just hits harder yep. than most anyway. No, oh, definitely. With the re-rolls and focus. Um, she's incredible. Yeah. Like having those two, you know, three now, three dice attack primaries is, it's punchy, you know? Yeah. yeah I, I, so I think the Oz attack will be an amazing ship out of this wave. I think the Skurg, and like, I hate saying it because I am flying it, but I think it's the easiest one to use. I'd agree. I think the... Although on paper, the aggressor is the easiest. You just slap on a turret and a lightweight frame and away you go. I think it's the hardest to use because it is so fragile and it isn't as dynamic as the other two. Yeah. Whereas the other two just bring 
you know, like I said, Skurg, Knife Fighter, and the Oz attack, just the tankiness, it brings like kind of very dynamic elements to the game, which we, you know, are there in small amounts, but I think this just like heaps it on, yeah. you know. Will you continue to play the Skurgs? I've got another, I kind of want to play the list that we had, we we thought would be good, which is, um or was good, which is Whisper, Vader, Vader and, and the Kylo, and the Kylo yeah. Tie Shuttle. I spoke about that earlier, but um, yeah, so for anybody that wasn't listening earlier, that's a Whisper with Agent Callus and the standard Whisper. A crack shot Vader and a tie bomber with Kylo Ren and, and Rebel Captive. Rebel Captive. And I think that was a big thing of like tossing up between Lightweight Frame and Rebel Captive on yeah. the bomber. And I think Rebel Captive is definitely the Yeah, because you're going to Kylo and you're not going to have the focus to... You, you can add an extra yeah. green dice, but you don't And have you're already anyway. putting people off by yeah. getting to shoot the, uh, with Rebel Captive. So I kind of maybe want to try that with intensity and cruise missiles on Vader. Yeah, it Just seems cool. fit them in somewhere, but... I did. I missed out. I think it's the fourth time I've come fifth. At a, <laughs> you missed out the cut by one. Yeah. So I, I kind of. It's the second time this season. Yeah, second yeah. time this season already. And um, I'm kind of really enjoying the Skurgs. And they, like, because they do have a lot of different things they can do. Um, I kind of like the mind game that they bring to it, which is the long range scanners target lock up someone, make them freak out and move away from the combat and then just turn in and target lock someone yeah, else. You, your list is definitely very versatile. Yeah. Like, it's really, really versatile. Like, aces are usually good against missiles yep. and torpedoes and things like that. But aces aren't good against auto blaster turret. They're not good against bomb the generator. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you're definitely covering, you're not sort of going, I'm just going to take a ship off the board in one turn, which your list can easily do. Yeah. You're also going, what if I play against this? Or what if I play against that? That's yeah. It's more the psychology. And yeah. There are, it's a, it's such a great place with X Wing at the moment because there's so many new people playing. Um, I really enjoy playing against the more experienced players because it's a much more intense yep. contest and it's like your brain is being racked the whole game. But I sometimes like there's like the, the evil part of me kind of loves going up against a new guy because sure. he's just like, well, I'm just going to like four straight yeah, into this they, box. Yeah, they actually and, don't understand. And you're like, oh man, I've got three auto blaster turrets. Yeah. I've got target locks and focus. I'm just going to shred you now. I think uh, Mars is Mars. Ben Chera, probably. Yeah, I think that's uh, Mars from out. Shout out you for being the bridesmaid today, which he usually is. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've, I'm, I've caught that bouquet too many times. Um, Mars, yeah, Vader. I was playing him a couple of weeks ago at the Games Lab uh, store champs and mm-hmm. made the final table there. And I think Vader's he's got a place. It's just unfortunately for him, like TLT is a thing. Yeah, and uh, fat turret ships are a thing. He just gets wrecked. Uh, like. The Kylo Ren and the crash, like Kylo Ren helps in that yep. a lot. Um, the spamming of the TLTs is a problem. Yeah. And I think this, like I haven't played that since the Skurgs have come out. And I think Skurgs I think would be a huge, huge problem. Skurgs well. could wreck Vader as well. Like I did play one. In fact, I played that um, shuttle, TIE shuttle, Whisper, um, Vader list against a earlier evolution of the triple Skurgs where they were yep. all PS3 and there was a, you know, a bit more kind of X munitions and things in the list that, that just soaked up the points rather than Nim. And I played one against Nick, who is the, one of the guys playing in the other game in the top four here. And he just wrecked me. Like, and literally. And Nick is a good player. He's too. a, he's yeah. a great player. And he, I, when he came in and target locked me, I target locked Vader, uh, the turn after he, he switches target locks from the shuttle to Vader. And the only option I had with Vader, I had to go five straight boost and barrel roll just to get out of arc yeah. of the cruise missiles, and I still took two auto blaster shots. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty brutal. Yeah, we try to figure it. We try to like think around the list of sh- worst case scenarios. What do you do here? Like if the, if they if they play slow, you hit them with five dice with the cruise missiles. If they play fast, you hit them with four dice primaries or yeah. auto blasters or bombs. It's just a huge area of area of denial for sure. All right, guys. So we might uh, we might close this round up. Uh, there shouldn't be too long left in the other top four game, but thanks for joining us for this one. Um, I'll be back for the final. I'll see if Johnny is coming back or Luke's jumping back in. Yeah, maybe. Um, and we'll see you back then. Thank you. Yeah, shout out to...
Step on the land. 